Thomas Williamson. I'm the CEO of War Drum Studios, and we are developers of Great Battles Medieval on Tegra 2 and Kellel. Excellent. So tell us about this. Uh, well, I mean, what is going on here? Yeah, what is this? What is Kellel? So Kellel is a project. Kellel is a new chip that NVIDIA has introduced at Mobile World Congress, where they're advertising a 5x improvement over Tegra 2 in performance. So it's Tegra 3. They are saying it's called Kellel. So All right. My my personal assumption is that since Kellel is non-final hardware, they don't want to give it that kind of name just yet. Okay. Um, this particular title is a strategy game where you have massive battle sequences that the user controls, all within a historical context of the Hundred Years' War. Um, and what we were able to do is we took the Tiger II title, which had about 280 men on the battlefield, uh, and we were able to upgrade it to 650 men with more than triple the number of pixels. We went from 800 by 450 to 1280 by 720. And then we also had a 3x in performance improvement over Tiger 2, um, just on the rendering side alone. Uh, we haven't even yet had the time to fully take a uh, complete use of the four cores, so we are hoping to improve that even further with this title. So what, what kind of power consumption are we, are we, are you, can, can we expect from uh, this level of gaming? Well, I don't think that they're... Um, They've done enough testing on the on the wattage of the chip, but I expect it to be extremely impressive. Um, but you know, uh, Tegra 2 uses so little power. I would actually really expect that the Kellel chip will use a very small amount of power as well, especially compared to the you know the screen or any kind of uh, Wi-Fi or 3G antennas. Now you're a bit of a Google star, apparently. Um, you work pretty closely with them. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that relationship. Uh, so Google is really great in terms of dev support. We are given uh, access to some of their developers who have direct access to the people who work on the core systems. Um, and what that allows us to do is it gives us kind of direct feedback about you know how we can use features that they've just announced and what ways can we manipulate the SDKs. Like if we say, hey, you know, we have a user that has you know X, Y, and Z, and can we convert that to you know ZYW? They can tell us almost straight up. Just having that kind of access gives us the ability to really plan and strategize how our games are going to be monetized and how our games can perform on all the different Android hardware. Now, is is there a reason that uh, did did you pick the screen resolution at 1280? Um, we were I just played around with. It. Honestly, I've only had about four or five hours of the hardware. Okay. Uh, so what we did is uh, I took the game. We got the APK running on on the uh, Kellel tablet first and foremost, and then once that happened, we started increasing men, increasing resolution until we found what we felt was a good performance standard for what we had. And then we started to multi-thread a few things so they'd run on the third and fourth core. Um, but there's still a lot of more work to be done. And you know, I'm hoping that we can increase the resolution even further, the number of men even further. And that's why when time anybody asks what the frame rate is, I say, oh, we're not going to tell you yet because we still have more work to do. What, what, do, you, what do you think the optimal uh, resolution size for a tablet is? Uh, the optimal resolution size, it really depends on the size of the tablet itself. Let's say a 7-inch. A 7-inch? I think 720p would be a great resolution. On a 10-inch? On a 10-inch, you're going to want to be, you know, it's going to be about 2 by 1,000 is going to probably be ideal. If you can going higher than that, it's not going to hurt um, for the web browsing experience, for ebook reading, all that stuff's going to be really crisp. So what else are you developing here at the moment? Um, so, with the Kellogg tablet, this is the only thing we've got time for. Yep. Um, but we are going to obviously take our other Tiger 2 titles that we've been working on, uh, Monster Madness, Chess Revolution, and other titles we haven't yet announced, um, and really see what we can do on this particular hardware um, with those games as well. So, have you had a chance to play Fruit Ninja, your competitor over there? Oh yeah, I love Fruit Ninja. Do you love Fruit Ninja? Yeah, it's not a competitor. It's not a competitor? Oh, no, no way. So, what what, uh, what niche do you think your games go into then? Uh, we're hardcore game audience, hardcore more than anything. Hardcore. All of our games stretch boundaries in ways that casual gamers usually aren't used to. But that being said, we always try to find some casual niche. Like, for instance, this is uh, History Channel branded. So, before every single battle, you have History Channel footage, which has given you a couple minutes of context for the battle and kind of educate people about all the different significant battles of the Hundred Years' War. Um, so that has so there's casual influence in our games. Um, so we're trying to have some kind of mass market appeal and kind of introduce maybe some of the casual audience into the hardcore gaming space. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you.